Hey everybody, it's the Jasmine Brand and it is Sunday night and I just wrapped up an interview with Yandy Smith of Love & Hip Hop. So this is what I'm gonna do from now on. I'm gonna do some behind the scenes, um, sort of like a before and after uh, I have an interview um, with a celebrity just to give you an inside sort of scoop of the most what it's like um, interviewing. So um, Yandy was very cool, she's very forthcoming so the interview went by pretty fast. We had to do an audio interview because she was actually getting prepared hosting a party tonight um, at the stadium and she was getting her hair and makeup done so you know how women are none of us want to be seen talked about her work with like enterprise you all know she has a lifestyle brand um, called everything girls love um, that I actually write for so we talked about that um, we also talked about missy elliott who she's managing or who's within her management company missy elliott's album is coming out so we kind of talked about what her new sound is going to be like in single but she's pretty forthcoming she's really chatty which is good for when you interview somebody who's the, the worst thing is to interview somebody that gives you one more answer. It's not the case of Andy. Anyway, she's very forthcoming. The rapper, she's humorous. This she's got some good advice about it. So anyway, check out the interview and thanks for checking out the Jasmine brand. So this is the Jasmine brand here and I'm up here with Yandy of Love and Hip Hop. How are you? I'm great, Jasmine. I'm excited to see you. I know, I'm glad to finally meet you yeah. in person and put the face with the voice. Yeah, because we talked on the phone a few times. Yes. So uh, the season is over. But more importantly, more impor you're a writer for EGL. Absolutely. I'm super excited about that. Absolutely. Have to come scoop you up. Yes, absolutely. So that was very exciting. That was very exciting. Um, so, Love and Hip Hop is over. Yeah. Where have you been? What have you been doing since it's, it's been over? And are you released? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'll never be released. I'm signed forever. But, um, I'm joking. Um, life has been crazy. It was crazy before, but mm -hmm. it's extra crazy because now I have to be crazy and take pictures and try to be cute being crazy. Mm -hmm. So, that's a little different for me since I'm super not the lights, camera, action girl. Mm -hmm. But, life has been a lot of hostings, a lot of touring, mm -hmm. and then still my regular management life. We're putting out Missy's album. So, you know, a bunch of label meetings, getting Missy ready for appearances, and Missy's been booked and had a couple of things to do. And um, we have her first single that's getting ready to drop, so we're excited about that. Okay, hold on, let's hold on. Can we put a penny on the Missy yeah. discussion? Okay, because I want to come back to that. Okay. What What do you think your biggest lesson that you learned from your first season on a reality show? Um, my biggest lesson is you can say no. You know, if, mm -hmm. if I had to do it all over again, mm -hmm. I, there would be some things that I would probably think of um, probably ahead, think ahead, and then just say, no, I'm not doing it. Like situations like, okay, we need you to walk into this luncheon with Erica, and I see Kim sitting there. I should have thought ahead, like, I'm not doing it. And she right. said, no. You know? Um, but, you know, it was the first time taping, and again, I put a lot of trust in producers and just feeling like they wouldn't set me up. They wouldn't make me look crazy. And, um, you know, it's about... It, I can't blame anybody for it, of course, but it's about a show and making a great show. So if a fight sparks off or some crazy words transpire, mm -hmm. that's what the show, you know, that's what makes the show. That's what keeps you guys tuned in. Right. That's true. What's your relationship like with, I know you're cool with Kimbella. Mm -hmm. So what's your relationship like with her? Are you still Oh, yeah. Friends? That's my foot. Definitely. Very good friends. I actually was just on the phone with her before you came up. Um, she was booked in Albany last night and she asked me to come with her to her show. I'm like, you gonna split half of that booking money? <laughs> oh God! I won't be there with you. So I was like, come with me to DC. Stadium would love to have you. Right. And then she gave me the question right back. You want to give me half of that money you're getting? So stay yours. Stay with your ad, sister. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we talk all the time and I'm the godmother of her son, um, baby Jewel. So I'm always over there. So yeah, and she cooks like your grandmama cooks. Oh, does she? Oh my gosh. I, I wouldn't think that. And I'm an eater. So, oh yeah. Okay. Are you are you cordial or friends at all with Erica? Um, she's, I guess she's in town tonight too. Oh okay. Or she's in Baltimore last, last night. She was I don't know her. Tonight, they put us on the show together. Okay. And said she's been looking for you. She wants you to manage her. The first time I ever seen her in my life was that night I went to dinner with her. No, I don't know her. So okay. You know. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Uh, and I know you are gonna be annoyed. Are you friends or speaking at all? Have you spoke to Chrissy since oh, the show? Oh, I'm not annoyed. It's, okay. You know, it's a question. I haven't spoken to her since the show. Mm -mm. What about um, Jim? Me? No. I mean, Jim through, you know, his whole team calls me for everything. Mm -hmm. You know, for show booking, they still, a lot of them still come through me. So I pass them on to his guys and 
if they need help with something, they all call me. So I've spoken to him not directly, but through everybody else. Right. Just because um, I don't mind helping and, you know, I want to see him win regardless. Right. If you had to do another season, or not had to, if you chose to mm -hmm. do another season, what um, would you do differently? I guess would it be saying no or the... Um, you know, really for me when I joined the first season, I really, really wanted it to be focused on my business and showing women and, you know, young people that you can do your thing, have this glamorous life, and you don't necessarily have to be involved with someone else to do it. You know, okay. men or women. Um, and I feel like that kind of was lost with all of the drama and with everything else that was going on. Mm -hmm. So I would really want to focus more on my business, if I could. I, you know, it's, I, I want to have more involvement this time on the production side and really staying true to my main purpose of being on that show. I don't know if, you know, I get tweets and emails all the time about how I've inspired and how I'm a role model, but I don't feel like that was what was portrayed. I don't know if I would want my daughter to look up to what was portrayed on the show. And that was, you know, a main thing for me. I really want, that's why I didn't really put my personal business out there. I wasn't attached to a man, not that I didn't have one. I just felt like that's not what I'm here for. Right. You know, and, um... I probably would just kind of really stay focused on that. Like, listen, you guys want to take me today? You're going to take me doing this. Because, I, you know, I work and I work hard. And 80% of my day is been working, even when I'm home. And I just felt like there was so much editing and so much other stuff that, you know, sitting during the day having wine or having cheese and crackers. It's just, I never do that in right. real life. So, that kind of thing I probably just, like, I, I pass. What kind of advice would you give any of the cast members for the Atlanta crew that's gonna... Um, I would say be mindful that the camera's on. It's so easy to forget mm -hmm. that you're being taped. And really, you know, you wanna think about what is it that you want to put out there to the world. Right. Everything I don't feel like is for the world, you know? And this is something that can be Googled. This is something that there are gonna be still pictures of. You know, people are going to share your most intimate, you know, private moments with you. Make sure it's an intimate, private moment that you want to be shared. And I think, I would just say being mindful that the camera is on you and this will haunt you for the rest of your life. Right. You know? And that's it. And, you know, you want to make a lasting impression of something that you want right. to be out there. Right. And I would say just be mindful that the camera is on. Everything girls love. Oh, that's my little baby. Everything Girls Love is moving. I mean, for Valentine's Day, well, for the month of February, we can barely keep up. I mean, keep up. We, we've got so many orders that came in. We got a little backed up because it was just like kind of an overwhelming amount of orders that came in. Mm -hmm. um, this is for the jury line aspect of it, but Everything Girls Love has turned into something much more than just an accessories line. Um, Right now, we've also launched our online magazine, mm -hmm. which we're so lucky to have you. And, um, you know, it features so many great articles from many writers from all over, not just in New York, where we're based. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we have a romance section, we have a health and beauty section, we have a style and fashion section, we have our rock candy section where we're, you know, we put out these fine brothers or, you know, the men that are doing their thing and we just give them some spotlight. We have our rising star um, section where we just, we highlight an up and coming entrepreneur. And then we also have our 2020 um, section where we, you know, we just kind of let you know what's going on in the world, what's happening. Because we feel like an everything girl's love girl is a well-rounded girl. She's fashionable. You know, she has her household intact. She knows what's going on in the world around her. And we wanted to, even if you don't know, we wanted to make our online magazine that one-stop shop. Like, listen, you can go here and find out what you need to know if you're going on a date, how you need to dress, right. you know, what you need to say, what you should cook, sh what you should cook, and, um, you know, this is what's going on in the news, so you can have an intelligent conversation. Right. And then on top of that, we also just started, um, we launched the lip gloss line called Embellish, which is one of my very close friends. Um, she wanted to get into the lipstick business, so we helped her, we branded the company, and we um, sell her product online. We're getting ready to next month, actually. Mm -hmm. 